with over 1,000 hours of flipping experience, I am known for my incredible flipping skill. But what you may not know is that I actually have quite a unique play style. The way I like to start my new profiles is I like to make as much money as possible, as fast as possible, and then do the most efficient methods of gaining skill XP. Come with me as we embark on a brand new journey. I will show you how I, a pro flipper, start a new profile so i have had this idea for a little while and basically i'm gonna start a new profile let's get into it always starts the same you know how it goes minecraft you know punching trees and breaking your fist on some wood that's great let's go over some of my goals for this profile first i want to hit at least 12 in all stats the reason for that is because i think that after that point you're probably in sort of the mid game stage the second goal that i have for this profile is i'd like to have at least a 100 million coin net worth and third, and probably the most arbitrary of all, is I'd like to have a profile that you would consider to be a good profile. In my opinion, that would mean minions, accessories, and a good amount of collections. If you can think of anything else that you would add to this list, please let me know in the comments. I'm sure we'll know what it looks like when we get there, right? As for a goal for this video, my only plan at this point was just to unlock the bazaar. But as you'll see, it ended up being a lot harder than I thought it would be. So step one, I need to hit level seven in all stats. I actually have not played a new profile since the beginning of the Skyblock level system. But I guess the first thing that I'm going to do is just to hit what you would normally hit to get level seven in all stats, which is to go and get seven in all of the stats. I'm going to get farming up to level 10 because it's like extremely fast. That way, if I see any uh, farming contracts that I can do, I will do it. So let's grab a rookie hoe here real quick. And we're going to hit all these 12 villages real quick as well while we're doing all this stuff. Right, there we go. Farming level 10. So that unlocked the farming contract. So we'll head in here now. First of all, let's sell what we've got here. All right. And we've got 7.5k. Talk to Jacob. All right, let's have a look. We have got, I'm basically looking for things that I can do without obviously having a full size farm. So let's have a look at what we've got. Yeah, we've got a little while till we, here it is. The next wheat is in five hours. So not gonna bother with any of that. I'm super excited to announce guys that I have updated the tiers of my Patreon. Every single tier will get access to all of my videos an entire day early. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to grab iron ingots. I'll grab a gold pickaxe. Oh, yeah, man, as well. Sure. Anyway, grab some gold, grab some wood so that I can make a golden shovel. And the plan is now to hit level like 10 or 11 mining. And I'll show you how I do that. You probably already know if you've played the game before. There we go. I'm going to get a golden shovel. And we need it at least efficiency three. I'm gonna hopefully try and get it to efficiency five. All right, so we need, we need 16 of these. All right, and we can combine these. I don't suppose we can use this, can we? We absolutely can, that's nice. And there it is, efficiency five. So how much is it gonna take? Gonna take 27 levels to apply that. We've got 7,000 gold, that should be enough, I assume. Let's just get a stack to start there. I think that's probably enough. I don't know, maybe it's not. It is not, that's all right. May as well grab another stack. It's very cheap, it doesn't cost much at all. Still not enough, <laughs> come on. All right, there we go. Let's just throw these down, why not? So here we go. We've got a gold shovel now with efficiency five on it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to head over here. By the way, like this is by no means going to be like the most efficient guide of all time, but, and I'm not, it's not like I'm going to go, I'm going to rush those skills either. Like I, my plan is really very much to get a good foundation for, for a profile. You know, that obviously might mean something different to you than it does, does to me. So anyway, here is how we're going to get our mining up. Um, I'm going to be just mining sand. So you know, this is like easily the fastest way to get your mining up in the early game. Yeah, look at this. So fast. It honestly just feels so good doing this every time.
All right, we've got a full first full inventory. Here we go. Let's quickly finish this off. I think I'm gonna just gonna stop at level ten here, uh, which is coming up in no time at all. But yeah, like if you've ever tried to get level twelve mining down like in the deep caverns or something like that, you know how painful it is. This took me like I don't know less than ten minutes. I think I might be wrong, but it doesn't feel like it takes long anyway. It's a little bit annoying that I don't have auto pickup there, so that's um that's a bit annoying. But that comes in one of the skybox levels i don't even know which one all right there we are level 10. so now the plan for from here let's just have a look and see how much i actually have like what level i am skyblock level wise skyblock leveling here we go so ah i'm level two skyblock level two nearly i'm nearly skyblock level two and i have to hit level seven oh okay so that's way less than i was expecting at this point i realized that getting to skyblock level 7 was not going to be as easy as i thought now since this video has come out i do know how to get to skyblock level 7 quite a lot faster if you want to punch your monitor right now i totally understand but at the time this was the struggle and honestly at this stage i didn't really know what to do so i did what i would normally do i took my very limited funds and i went to the auction house and you will not believe what I managed to do. See if I can buy some gear sets for the uh, for the museum. Let's try a lapis. Okay, there's absolutely none in buy it now. Let's try a goblin. 5k, 10k. Uh, you know what I will do though? I mean, why not? I've just noticed that this is uh, an easy flip. So if I, I've just bought these two things, the leggings, I bought for 5k, the next one is 14k, so I mean, why not? Let's, let's do it. And the helmet, I didn't even see a helmet on the first page, so... I can set the price of helmets all the way up, like, well high. Let's just do, let's just do like 149k, uh, and leave it like that. Ah, I can't afford it. <laughs> Alright, I'll just wait until I've got the first one sold. In the meantime, I guess I'll find the last villager. Here it is. Oh, did you know about Skyblock? Yeah, I've learned a thing or two about Skyblock leveling in the fact that it's extremely difficult to level. So, there's that. Okay, I did get some Skyblock XP for doing that. So, I guess we'll do some more quests. Speak to Cat. Talk to George. We definitely need to um, pay attention to this because like, we're going to like make a lot of money by getting pets and selling them there. I think in the future, I think that's a, a short-term goal as well. This man needs some wool. What happens next is either going to irritate you because I wasted a bunch of time, or you're going to laugh at me because I wasted a bunch of time. This is uh, this is prime flipping content. We're just going to go to the builder, buy from the builder. Oh, somebody bought my little goblin leggings. That's what we like. I'm going to buy a piece of wool here. Not in woodworking, not in rocks. Here we go. That's not what I want. Ah, I swear this guy has wool. I've seen it with my eyes. Am I wrong? Have I been wrong this whole time? He's done me. He's honestly done me. I thought for sure. So here's the thing. Uh, if I just uh, head up this way, there is the wool weaver. Right here. And this lady sells all the wool you could ever want, uh, ever, in the whole world. Okay, thanks. Um, all right. So we got our first flip of the series, that's nice, 15, 15k, so we made 10k, uh, and now I'm excited about this, I can actually list this auction up, what a strange little mini market, alright, let's head to the place where we get wool. Oh, oh, give the wool, how many did you want from me? A stack of wool. Oh, you're kidding me? Oh, hey, bro, I'm rich. I'm actually filthy rich now. Good grief. Are you kidding me? Did I just like 10x my money just there? Is that is that real? Is this real life? 